guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Knack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, I've been doing some archive work here in the Plastic Planet this, this evening. It's actually really early in the morning here. But I've been doing some archive work early this morning here in the Plastic Planet, guys. And I have finally tracked down a video that I produced years and years ago, back in 2013. This is a room tour video I produced uh, to show off my collection for the Sideshow Collectors website, where I used to kind of frequent over there a lot and I went under the handle of plastic crap money waster. Now if you're a long time viewer or subscriber of my channel you might remember about a year ago maybe I don't remember but I posted a a, a, a video that uh, featured a very old video from my previous residence of my collection at the time. Well this video I'm going to show you guys tonight actually predates that one. In fact this was the very first video that I can recall that I ever shot of my collection. I never had done a video prior to this one, uh, to the best of my memory. And so it might be a little rough in places, but it will really adequately show off where my collection was back in 2013, which was, you know, almost eight years ago now. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy this. It should be fun. A little bit of a blast from the past. We're jumping into Doc Brown's time machine and going back to 2013 and checking out Knickknacks collection back before it was knickknacks collection back where it was just my collection as a personal collector so anyway guys hope you guys enjoy it and uh yeah hey what's going on there sideshow freaks this is plastic crap money waster coming at you live from my man cave just outside of denver colorado i'm gonna give you guys a little tour tonight of my uh collection some some stuff you've probably seen in the photos and uh uh, from my, my thread here, but some stuff you haven't, so it should be a fun time, and I uh, hope you enjoy your uh, little tour around my basement. Uh, as, uh, right now, you're looking at my 75-gallon uh, aquarium. Uh, I've got some tinfoil barbs in there and some uh, SpongeBob SquarePants uh, aquarium decorations. My kids love them, and, well, so do I. So, move off from this tranquil beauty give you kind of a shot of my room as we start heading around our little journey here we'll start right now with of course my sideshow collectibles diorama my polystone um, diorama of uh, Luke and Vader locked in their mortal combat in the control room at Bespin this is a great piece I mean it, for a statue that's static it's pretty freaking awesome although few hang-ups I had with it First of all, man, this thing is a bitch to put together. I mean, it is a solid gold bitch. And it's nerve-wracking as hell, too. I mean, because all these pieces, all these little railings and stuff, I mean, that's all polystone, man. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy the fact that it's polystone and it's heavy and it's, it's got, it feels like it's got some quality to it, but man, dude, putting that together, I was sweating it. Because I'm kind of all thumbs, man. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm not exactly what you'd call a call artisan or anything like that. I'm, I'm not very good at working with my hands. I mean, I can't fix a car to save my life, and you know, I'm not very good at putting together or painting things. Uh, so this was this was kind of scary putting this together, but it's a pretty great piece. The only thing, the only other thing I didn't like about it is those two little balls down there. You see those? I don't know what they're supposed to be, but anyway, they're supposed to fit inside this large girder that you know Vader cuts off in the you know in the movie, but they're supposed to fit inside that. Man, I snapped one of them off when I was trying to put it in there. It fits real wonky. Um, I don't know if other people had that problem with this piece or not, but I sure did. I don't know if I'm retarded or what, but it was it was a pain in the ass. So I just kind of let them sit there. Uh, but other than that, man, fantastic piece, just awesome. I'll let you get a little look at that. I'll kind of move around. I won't try to go too fast. I don't want to make anyone too dizzy. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pan back now so you kind of get a long shot or a wide shot of the the entire room. I've got my room kind of divided into into two two parts here. Um, the one part with just more of my entertainment area, my television sets over there. Um, that's my Star Wars area. It's almost exclusively, in fact, it is exclusively all Star Wars. I'm gonna pan back here. Again, try not to go too fast. So there's a lot of Star Wars on this side of the room too, but there's also a great deal of miscellaneous items um, that will. Uh, let's let's go this side first. So, walking past my giant ad at, we'll get to we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let's start up here, up the top, of, up above my closet, and those are my Transformers, my G1 Transformers that run along this top shelf, and 
and down. A lot of these guys I had as a child, uh, that Devastator up there I got for my ninth or 10th birthday. Still have them, kept them in good shape. Uh, Megatron and Soundwave, however, were from Takara. Uh, picked those up in the early 2000s, 2003, 2004, somewhere in there. Insecticons and Dirge, on the other hand, were also from my childhood. So there's a real mishmash there of older collectibles, uh, vintage collectibles, and reissues. Same thing with my Autobots there. The Optimus Prime uh, it was a, re, a reissue by Hasbro in uh, 2003, I believe. He had, it came with the, the short stacks, you know, the child safety retard short stacks. Because, you know, some kid might poke his eye out with the, if the stacks were, you know, half an inch taller. Total fail, but still a good piece. I never had Optimus Prime as a kid, so I picked him up. And, of course, these are my uh, 1987 Transformers that uh, most, almost all those, in fact, all those, I do believe, I got as a child. Galvatron, Hot Rod Cup, Rodimus Prime. Uh, there's some Headmasters up there, Cyclonus. Uh, got all those as a child. Those are post uh, the 1987 movie, so really cool. And we'll kind of come down a little bit. we got some Hard Hero. Transformer bus. These were done early 2000s. Um, Hot Rod and Optimus there. And I got my uh, Jets down there. Those were all reissues. I had Starscream as a kid, but man, that thing got so jacked up. So I rebought the Takara version. And then the Skywarp and the Thundercracker. I had Thundercracker too. He also got pretty jacked up from my childhood, but. Uh, the, those, those, the, the two, the, the Skywarp and the uh, Thundercracker are Hasbro reissues, and the Starscream's Takara. And move back up, more to more Hard Hero. That's uh, Megatron. Now this is this is one of my favorites. That's my Trypticon from when I was a kid. I've kept him in gr glorious condition. In fact, I think uh, the walking mechanism still works on him. I don't have batteries in him because uh, obviously I don't want those to I don't want those to uh, leak. So, and I, obviously I don't play with him anymore. Yeah, not too much, but uh, yeah, he's he's awesome. Moving over here, this is my sides, my Star Trek collection, including my one six or one. I'm sorry, my one eighteenth scale, I believe. Uh, yeah, they're eighteen inch. Sorry, not one eighteen. Eighteen inch Star Trek uh, Kirk and Spock from uh, Diamond Select or Art Asylum. And the Enterprise from Art Asylum, the original Enterprise from Art Asylum. Some next generation stuff. This is a great piece. This is from Art Asylum, the, the Enterprise D. It lights up. I don't have batteries in it right now. It takes those uh, little tiny, tiny like watch batteries. I don't have any right now, but it lights up. It's a really great piece. As well as the Enterprise E from Art Asylum. Another great piece. It does light up. Nice, nice little lights in there. Looks great. My Art Asylum card. Got some Playmate stuff in there. Got some Gloob, the Micro Machines from, uh, you know, mid mid nine mid nineties, mid early nineties. I bought those mid early nineties. I was in high school then, and that was when I was just starting to kind of. That was the infancy of collecting, adult collecting for me was high school. I was so embarrassed to buy those, man. Buying those uh, little Gloob Micro Machine ships. There's a few more down here too. There's the Excelsior. Yeah, those were like, man, I would, I would, I felt more at peace buying condoms in high school than I did those, because I was, I was mortified about buying toys then, but not anymore. So here's my Art Asylum Enterprises, the A, Enterprise A. That's a great light up feature right there. Nice ship noise. Here's the the Wrath of Khan one they did a little later. This one I'm not so keen on. The hull seems a little more transparent, and the sound effects. You know, I know that some people might think these are cool, but. He yells con and the and the deflector dish lights up when he yells con. I, I don't know. I think it's kind of stupid personally. I'd rather just have some ship noise, throw it into warp warp speed. That'd be cooler, but teach their own. And again, another some more mix of a uh, Galoob and some Art Asylum. There's some playmates in the back there. And uh this Kirk bus, not sure who made that, but that's a great, great, great little great little diorama there love that came out great uh, there's a lunchbox back there and Kirk and Spock from I believe that's a muck time awesome just awesome and down here some more Star Trek again it's just all this a real hodgepodge there's a lot of different stuff there the, the bigger ships are models I made um, I love making models it's something I've always enjoyed doing it's 
uh, it was kind of therapeutic, you know. You put together a model and paint it and whatnot. Although I really kind of suck at it. I can't do anything too advanced. Again, I'm all thumbs, but uh, good times, good times. And then below here, it's a little dark down here. Hopefully you can see i got some more uh, G1 Transformers. Some of those are 30 years old. Some of those are not so old. But uh, good stuff. I'm going to move over here. Oh, what's that? That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're in Broncos country, baby. Yeah, I'm a Broncos fan. Those are my helmets. Those are my Rydell uh, authentic helmets. Although you can't, they, they call them authentic, but you can't put them on your head. It wouldn't fit. So, I don't know how authentic that is, but they're still cool. And the Star Trek curtains my wife made. Yes, I, do. I am married. And she is fine. And she makes me curtains, so it's a good deal. And moving down here, this is an interesting piece I wanted to show you guys. This is a, I'll get my shadow out of the way. This is a life-size, I guess, Yoda. I picked this dude up in 2003 off eBay. Get this, right? And at the time, you know, I, I, I got to admit, at the time I wasn't a very, you know, buyer, a very knowledgeable buyer, I guess. Uh, the seller said it was from a company called Cryptic Creations. So I thought it was like a, you know, a real deal life-size collectible. I really thought I scored a deal because I got them for like less than 300 shipped. And truth is, I mean, over the years, I've kind of come to, I'll get a kind of a close-up. Yeah, some of the detail is really crappy on this guy. Look at the, look at the fingernails, man. I mean, it looks like he's been picking his ass. Total fail, but, you know, it's still fun. It's a campy piece. I still keep it just as a, you know, I don't have, I can't, you know, can't afford to buy real life-size stuff. So, you know, he's pretty cool. I'll keep him, you know. He, he's part of the family. Uh, lightsaber used to light up. It was actually a neon feature. But, man, dude, that thing was a freaking fire hazard. I, mean, I lit it. I, I, I plugged it in one day, and it just started sparking. Bad news bears, man. So we don't do that anymore. I just put some wrapping paper on it and called it good. Again, I mean, look at the detail on the saber, which there is none. So, yeah. But he's fun. I mean, underneath there is just PVC pipe. But, uh, yeah, he stays. He's cool. We'll move over to the next shelf, and we got more Transformers. My, uh... Masterpiece Jets. Of course, those are all made by Hasbro. And I can't get too close there, but you can kind of get the gist. That light's kind of, I don't know if that light's hindering or helping our our uh, movie-making ability here, but all pretty cool pieces. I didn't get the uh, Takara versions on those. Those are all uh, Hasbro's, but, you know, they're bought at Walmart and Toys R Us, respectively, but pretty awesome. Then we've got my Grimlock with the Target Master sitting on top of him. He's just awesome. Love him. You know these uh, these masterpieces, man. I can't. I don't even try to transform them. Uh, you know, kind of weak, but yeah, I don't even want to try. I just keep them in robot mode, or in this case, dinosaur mode. And then, of course, Rodimus Prime, because he's my favorite transformer of all time. I know a lot of people like Optimus, but I am partial to Rodimus because he's got the touch, baby. It's pretty awesome. His Matrix down there. His long gun. Moving up here, we got Megatron. He, he is from Takara. He's a great piece. Again, I've never, ever tried to even put him in the gun mode. I'm afraid I'll break him. So we'll just keep him in a robot mode. It's like, what am I going to do with him in gun mode anyway besides go out and get shot by the cops, right? So, yeah, he's pretty awesome. And, you know, got to have Optimus, too. Love Optimus. Just a little more of a Team Rodimus, I guess, but... Optimus is cool too. This is from 2003. This is the masterpiece. I think this is the first masterpiece they came out with. And uh, still, I think one of the best too. It's just the size and the weight on him is just great. I tried to transform him once. It was a pretty pretty big fail. So, uh, uh, like the other ones, he stays in robot mode. Let's see, let's move up. Here. Oh, there's Sideshow Collectibles Indiana Jones. Uh, he's just as he is. Man, some people do some great repaints on this guy, and I think. Mine could use one too, but again, he would just end up looking like ass if I did it. So he's a good figure, though. He's a good figure, and of course, man, this this thing is just epic. The Hot Toys, Christopher Reeve, Superman, with the Kryptonian stalactite base, absolutely gorgeous. I love this piece. I love Christopher Reeve. He is my generation Superman. You know, he is the shit or the stuff. Can I cuss on here? I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. It's PG. PG film. Anyway, just awesome. Alright, move down the move down my uh, room a little more. Got a couple other pieces up here. My Kenner 
Kenner's Superpower, Superman, and Doctor Fate. Some do some DC direct stuff. Some Batman. I'm not a big superhero guy. I mean, they're cool, but I I'm a superhero. I, I dig Superman and Batman, but that's about it. Not really into the Marvel stuff so much. Uh, anyway, here's some Hasbro Star Wars stuff. There is the uh, Kadu with uh, Captain Tarples. He's awesome. Absolutely awesome. But uh, this piece is really held up well for all the Hasbro 12 inch that they made. Some of them just look like ass, but this one's great. He's held up well over the years, so he remains in my collection to this day. Uh, Hasbro ATTE. Some other clones and whatnot. Hasbro Scout Trooper. Here's a great piece. I'm going to move my chair here so I can get in. Yeah, that's a great piece. That's, the, of course, the Kenner Micro World. Um, Empire Strikes Back Bespin playset. Incomplete. I'm missing the reactor, the control room. But uh, still, I mean, that's from my childhood. Um, with a few pieces I've hodgepodged off eBay for completeness because it was well loved. But uh, that's that's great. That's a 30 year old piece right there. Absolutely awesome. Gonna move up some of my shelves. That's a Kenner Yoda puppet. That's a great piece as, as well as the. Uh, as well as the Gentle Giant, or not Gentle Giant, um, yeah, Gentle Giant, Gentle Giant, yeah. Oops, figure down, shelf diver, yeah, that's a great Yoda. And my, uh, my, uh, Hasbro Jabba playset that came out with recently, nice, very nice. And then, of course, up here I've got the creatures of Star Wars, just all the different, I'm just kind of a fan of the aliens and creatures of Star Wars, all different types. There's a lot of Power of the Force stuff, some older pieces up here. Uh, Bantha. The Bantha to this day is still a great piece. Still fuzzy. Of course, again, the Yoda. I am scratched up, I am, but in still in wonderful shape. This is great. The rubber's kind of rotted. I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to eat my lunch out of there, but still awesome. Still completely awesome. Some early 60s Denver Bronco helmets there. Uh, again, more Hasbro stuff. Gotta love the Hasbro stuff, man. I, I gotta tell you, I got boxes and boxes of it in the garage and in the storage room. I don't know what to do with it. It's, it's not worth it's not worth spit now. Uh, not exactly an investment, um, but uh, I enjoyed collecting it back in the day. But now I don't really know what to do with it because it's just taking up space. But I can't, for the life of me, give it away or sell it. Cause again, I wouldn't get anything for it. So. I'll just hang on to it. Maybe someday I'll have a bigger house and can set it up. Again, there's Vader and Luke as we move into my Star Wars section of my uh, room. This is my favorite shelf. I've got my two premium format, my Luke and Leia. They're a little older pieces, but boy, they're great. They still hold up great. The Leia's awesome. That's that's a great likeness right there. And, of course, my Medicom C-3PO and R2-D2. I picked these guys up just a few weeks ago, actually finally got around to getting them. Held off, held off. The scale bothered me in the pictures, but getting them in person, man, the scale's nothing. It's cool. It doesn't matter. These are just great. And the light-up eyes, just the light-up features, I mean, that is R2 and C-3PO, if there ever, ever was a great, great representation of those two characters. Absolutely love these guys. Absolutely. Most of my favorite pieces, honestly. So I picked those up. Yeah, forget the, if you're worried about the scale, forget it. They're just, they're just great. I would totally buy these. I wanted the, 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 the newer C-3PO, the, the heavy die-cast metal one, but I just, I just, uh, can't, I can't validate $400 for an action figure, one action figure. So the price I got on these guys was so good, I ordered them off, and I'm going to totally butcher the name, the A Miami or whatever uh, website, the Japanese website. It was awesome. The only, the, only, the only downside was when I ordered it, it totally like bounced my credit card because my, uh, my fraud alert kicked in because uh, my credit card company wasn't used to me purchasing items in yen. So I had to call and tell them it was all good that I'd made the purchase. Is uh, yeah, they thought they thought some dude was spending money that wasn't theirs. But uh, anyway, so those are those really great. Of course, got some gentle giant mixed in there. Just the main New Hope shelf right there. A lot of great, a lot of care. I'll try to get the main characters represented minus Chewbacca. No one's made a decent Chewbacca yet, but someday maybe, maybe I'll get a gentle giant. I don't know. Moving down, speaking of Gentle Giant, there's Gentle Giant, Count Dooku, and Asajj Ventress. I'm not a huge Asajj Ventress fan. Not a real fan of the Expanded Universe or the Clone Wars cartoon. I like the Clone Wars cartoon, okay, but, you know, not a huge fan. But I just love that piece, just the, 
you, know, you don't see a lot of raw sexuality in a Star Wars statue or figure for that matter. So I thought that was pretty cool. And of course the uh, mini, I'm going to totally buy, uh, I'm going to totally murder this name too, the Koto uh mini figures, Boba Fett, Darth Vader. Pick those up at my uh, local Barnes & Noble. Yeah, just a couple weeks, uh, a couple months ago. They are about 40 each. I picked them up over there. I thought that was a great, great price. And the bases, look at the base, that's great. Of course my gentle giant Darth Vader got him back in 2005 at the time I thought he was like that most epic Vader piece and he's still nice don't get me wrong but I think some of the stuff that other other companies have done since are probably superior but he's still nice one more shelf down oh there's my snowtrooper that is a great figure sideshow has just continued to up their game with the one six scale line of course hiding back there is my one six scale Han which is next to that next to that next to that snowtrooper is a bit of an abortion but Nah, he's still a cool figure. You put the mask on him and tuck him back there. He's fine. You gotta have a Bespin. Or you gotta have a. Well, I guess a Bespin Han if you're going off the old Kenner uh, names. The Empire Strikes Back Han. And of course, Lando is awesome too. I love my Lando. And uh, that's a that is actually a Marmot Tie Fighter pilot back there. So he's cool and the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Below that, it's pretty dark down there. I don't have lighting, but some just some miscellaneous pieces. The uh, Hasbro TIE Fighter. You know, the Hasbro stuff I keep out is the stuff that I still, that I think kind of looks good. You know, I, I can't afford to go out and buy the real expensive uh, um, ships that are, you know, the premium ships, so I, I keep my Hasbro stuff out. The ones that are, at least the ones that hold up, I think. There's an old R2D2 telephone right there. As we continue to work our way back up another shelf, there's some Gentle Giant. I love this piece. It's Admiral Akbar. God, that's just a great great bust. I've kind of fallen out of the mini busts over the years. I collected most of these before Sideshow started doing 1-6 scale figures, but man, that's a great piece. That is one of my favorite busts they did. And of course, I've got my mini cantina scene with Greedo chilling out with Hammerhead, having some cocktails, digging life, and some more... Uh, some more I got a lot of 8x10 stars pictures, just kind of dig, just having, you know... Just scenes from the movie hanging around. Move over here. There's a shelf up there, but it's so glared I can't get to it. It's just Hasbro stuff. So, but There's my premium format Luke with his saber lit up with a gentle giant Luke next to it. Another bust. I'll just move down this Detolf. This is a Detolf over here. We'll just move down it. Got my Lukes in there. My Jedi Luke. Still holds up. First, first figure Sideshow did. Still holds up. Looks great. And then my New Hope Luke, and of course my Bespin Luke. Haven't broken down, gotten the Hot Toys Luke. Seen a lot of pictures on the site. Looks awesome, don't get me wrong, but I have a hard time rebuying figures I already have. Although, they, I'm still very tempted. We'll move down. New Hope Vader. Got the Hasbro Dome on his head. Looks awesome with some Sideshow Stormtroopers flanking him. Had to get two. Man, have you seen the resale on these things? It's amazing. Even the Stormtroopers on eBay go for almost 400 bucks. I don't know, not that I'd sell mine, but it's always good to know just in case the, I don't know, just in case I lose my job or something. Not that that's going to happen, but knock on wood. All anyway, right, moving down. Oh, Tusken Raider and Obi-Wan there, Ben Kenobi. Absolutely awesome. That's a great piece. Again, Sideshow just keeps upping their game. Love that piece. The robes, the everything textually or just feels cool it's the, <clears throat> excuse me his Gradafi stick just awesome absolutely awesome there's my Obi-Wan I did a water treatment on him I always get freaked out sticking a sticking a premium figure under the sink but came out really nice and below that is my indoor troopers they're cool I kind of piecemealed them together I didn't buy them at the same time not a high priority. They're not the coolest figures in the world, if you ask me. But I got them all for a really good price and collected them over the course of about four years. So it's all good. And, of course, my Clone Wars Anakin and my uh, Clone Wars Obi-Wan. So we move up the next one. Oh, look at those. Some clone troopers in there. Got uh, Commander Gree. And I've got, got Commander Gree right there. And I've got my uh, Utapa Trooper. And I know a lot of guys collect all kinds of, the, all the clones, and don't get me wrong, clones are really cool, and the figures are cool, the armor's cool, but I just don't need a crayon box of clones, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, again, I don't like to recollect things I already have, unless it's something I really like. Um, yeah, I like the clones, but again, I tried to I tried to keep my my collection more original trilogy geared than prequels. And now I'm not a prequel basher by any by any stretch. I love the prequels, but but uh, yeah, again, then uh, the uh, battle droids came out great. My only gripe about the battle droids is they don't stand very well. I mean, I I, I dust my shelves, they fall over in there. It's a pain in the ass. But uh, they're cool. They, they look cool. I'm afraid they're going to break one of these days when they fall over. But they're cool. Of course, up here I've got my 1-6 scale Emperor. My wife got me that Emperor for my birthday a few years back. Got the exclusive with the snarling head. Of course, you got to have his throne, too. He's just great. What a great 1-6 scale figure. Whoops. Sorry, bumping stuff here, so I had to pause the camera for a second. Moving up, look at that. Got some more, some more uh, earlier sideshow pieces. The Leia, the Yavin Luke, and the Han. Leia and the Han are pretty good. They hold up okay, I guess. Yavin Luke. That was one figure I thought that looked actually better in the package, or not in the package, but the screenshots of him. I saw him originally. I was like, oh my god. Got a hold of him, and yeah, yeah, not so much, but he's cool. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I have to keep pausing the pausing the phone here. I'm kind of losing my voice, and I had to go get a little sweet of water. Ran out of beer. But uh, anyway, so that's that shelf. Moving up, my premium format Vader, all lit up in all his glory. I should have brought my step stool in. I could kind of get up and get a little closer, but eh, he's awesome. He's awesome. Even if the lights are a little purple and washed, still awesome piece. And, of course, he's right next to Anakin or uh, Darth Vader, uh, depending on your perspective, I guess. He's got the Sith eyes in there. and I love the saber on him, because it really seems to light up, you know, completely through the whole blade there, whereas some of the other ones... I mean, the Vader's okay, but the Luke... And I've got a, I've got a fluorescent above there, so maybe you can't see, but I just... It it's, just doesn't light up throughout the blade. It's the only weak part of that about that piece, although the, the depiction of Mark Hamill is pretty dead on. Anyway, there's my premium formats. We'll move back down this shelf. Some Hasbro up there. Some Gentle Giant. There's, there's Darth Vader, or uh, Sith Anakin, whatever you want to call him. Uh, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive from a few years back. I actually went to that con. It was a good time. Next to uh, the uh, Darth Sidious and uh, Anakin and Obi Wan and uh, it's Chancellor Palpatine and. Mace Windu, and then I've kind of got a Jedi assortment down on the last shelf, you can see. There's some Hasbro figures mixed in there, but still, great figures, great figures. Move over here, got the Hasbro, uh, Luke Homestead, even though it's all styrene, it's like a cake decoration, total cheap. Still had to get it just because I wanted, wanted, the, wanted the igloo, wanted a representation of the igloo in my collection, which is too cool. But uh, still cheap, cheap. And, of course, I've got Yoda's hut, which I bumped into just a minute ago. And he's all lit up in all his glory there with the fire going. Great piece. I've got him on a Lazy Susan, per some suggestion from the Sideshow site. He looks great. I would turn him, but I'd totally, totally, totally knock him off the pedestal, and that'd be a major fail. So, I actually have two small children. I have to be careful about how I display my collectibles. Um, as many people can probably appreciate, so I have to. They're pretty good. They don't touch my stuff generally, but because they know they'll die. Nah, just kidding. But no, no, they're they're pretty good. But I do have to be kind of a little careful how I display my stuff. There's some more Star Wars miscellaneous stuff. Some Hasbro, and then I've got my animated figures up there. Original trilogy animated, and of course the uh, couple of the prequel or uh, Clone Wars. I'm sorry, animated maquettes. The Grievous Yoda. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got my blinds there. The most important part of my collection is the damn blinds. Got to keep the sun out of here at midday. Otherwise, otherwise my collection would completely fade out. When I was a kid, I had a train set in my basement, my parents' basement, and I got the, the, the green felt or the green uh, paper, the grass paper got so faded out on it from the sunlight that I'm real conscious of that as a grown-up. So I've got to keep those blinds shut. That's uh, that's today's safety tip. 
as we move along here. Of course, we got the do back. That's just win. I mean, there's nothing. This is my probably one of my favorite pieces in this whole collection. Just absolutely win. A gorgeous piece. Gonna move around there. There we go. Moving down here. We've got Bosk and IG88 underneath some uh, IKEA IKEA lights. We just got an IKEA here in Denver. It's pretty awesome. Didn't know I was missing all those years. They got great chicken fingers too. If you ever go there, get the chicken fingers. I highly recommend. Love chicken fingers. And of course, I've got Qui Gon and the new Obi Wan. God, the new Obi Wan's a great figure. I mean, sideshow again. It's just upping it. Yeah, uh, he's just dead on. I don't know if you can see him real well under the light here, but with the light up saber, which I won't light up, but he looks great. Even next to Qui Gon, he looks great. And uh, of course, my Darth Maul sideshow figure with the uh, the bike, courtesy of Hasbro. Move over here. Got my movies, and of course another Kenner Hoth, Kenner Micro World playset. So love the love the Kenner stuff. Of course, there's the big guy, Job of the Hut, in all of his glory. Love this piece, love it, love it, love it. And uh, move over here. Got the got the archway. Great archway. I mean, it was for the price. It was a really nice. Nice, nice piece. Although I'd, I would have appreciated if they would actually finish the arch. I'd have paid an extra twenty bucks to get the the other side there. I'm not sure what they were shooting for there, but it's still cool. Light up the light up features are great. And of course, the Gamorians are awesome. Some Jawas there, and of course the creature expansion pack. I guess he's cool. And of course, Han and Carbonite one six scale with my Metacom Boba Fett keeping guard. Absolutely awesome. Some movie posters. Oh, there's my sideshow. Boosh. Boosh Leia. Some movie posters. Love movie posters. Some more Hasbro stuff. Master Replica pieces. Found these secondhand at an antique store. And they're the real deal. They're heavy. I think they're Master Replicas. I don't know if they were ripped off or what, because I got them for a dream. But, uh... No stands, that was the only downside, but they're awesome. Some Hasbro, last but not least, my Hasbro Big Millennium Falcon. Awesome piece. So, love some of these ships, man. My kids come in and want to play with that thing all the time. I tell them to go to hell. I say they got their own crap. Don't touch daddies. And all right, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Oh, there's my great comfy couch. And the circle is now complete. Oh, there's the big ad at two over there. But uh any rate. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Adios.